Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I am Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. February 1958, Popular Mechanics. So I like to go through these to see what mechanics, to see what everything was like back in the 50s, including society, because the advertisements talk a lot about society. Oh, geez. You know if society had a look at this now, the women would progressive women be like, ah, oh, why is she not driving? And they're all white and patriarchy. Ugh. Ugh. Let's just get away from that. I think... I don't think there are any progressive women here right now, so let's just let's just enjoy this. If there are any Karens in the background, I identify as bisexual, so I can get away with saying stuff like that. Ha! <laughs> so there was a time when it seemed like most people liked getting out in uh, in a boat. That thing kind of seems kind of short, honestly. There's no way that little thing looks like it'd be able to tilt pretty quick. But still, everyone looks like they're having a really good time. Anyways, anyway, V4, eh? As usual, it's really interesting how they keep advertising things as mundane as lights. And sometimes they had really interesting lights in here. Advertising lights that wouldn't blind people, that would go over certain corners, kind of look into the distance to the right a little bit more. And it seems, I don't think any of them actually stuck. And in, in fact, we seem to have even more acidine lights that we have to deal with. Now you get a lot of these ICS Learn. Actually, I, uh, I took a course through ICS Learn myself. Build your own solar energy furnace. So, geez, these solar furnace, or sorry, these solar heaters, we call them these days, these have been around for quite a while, haven't they? I mean, I wonder how they get those fans going, though. Solar energy fur. I, that's an interesting way to place it. Smashing through space barriers. Any things that built. Geez, Charles Atlas was even advertising back here. I mean, I thought he was. I, he's, he must be immortal. Anyways, checking out over here, we have some beautiful Atomic Age advertisements. Wanted men for electronics for guided missiles. We're gonna we're gonna put you in a guided missile, boy. That's legitimately some nice Atomic Age ephemera, though. Looks like a miniature motor. That makes me wonder what the smallest motor is I've seen. I mean, combustion. Telephones. Oh boy, get yourself the new rotary phone. You don't have to dial for assistance. Holy crud, I don't think that's even a rotary phone. Archie and the gang, everyone back in the day always had a jalopy like this. But after a certain point of time, all the jalopies dried up and now nobody's got a car. Because cars are so freaking expensive. I find it a bit interesting and fascinating that they had refrigerants back then. I mean, I guess it's kind of basic. They've made it better since, but I just find it so fascinating they had uh, air conditioning back then. Motors Auto Repair was always a really good place to go to get good information about how to actually fix old cars i mean i finally found one of these i opened it up it gives you pictures really good images and shows you how to deal with things i'm legitimately surprised i don't see more advertisements for guns or creating your own ammunitions i think this is the first and perhaps last one and this is another thing ruptures so if you get a, a hemorrhage a Oh, frick, why can't I remember the name of it? Like, you just go and get it operated on. But these days, back then, I don't think people were comfortable going under the knife for the doctor, and I understand why. I mean, the more I hear about how 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 hospitals and how doctors were at a certain point of time, like, blowing smoke up your arse was actually once... Uh, considered a good thing to do but then it turned out it wasn't actually a good thing to do like i understand why grandpa didn't want to go to the doctor maybe the same way some men don't want to go to therapy or at least didn't back in the 70s because yeah there are a lot of quack therapists who still haven't figured things out or at least there was back in the 90s in the 80s 80s 90s the satanism scare 53 people got sent away for stuff that never actually happened. And those therapists are still figuring stuff out. Sputnik stamp free. Remember when stamps 
were a big deal. Like just the theory, the idea of getting a little piece of paper from the other side of the world, a little mark saying, I was here. That's such a lovely idea. But really, really, you can't down therapists. There's a, there's a lot of different types of therapists. And uh, gee, as a therapist you could pay for, all of them are better than TikTok therapists and YouTube. Google. Don't ever Google or YouTube your mental health condition. It's not a good idea. Like, I... I I have to explain to kids why. You just don't ever Google mental or physical things. But geez, if you tell a kid these days, oh, don't listen to everything you hear on TikTok, they'll say, oh, you're taking away my freedoms by second guessing and gaslighting. And geez, they'll start saying words from other languages I've never heard about. Covert narcissism. This wisdom must die. You should send us 350. And we will send you all the things that these oppressed people don't know about. There's some naked ladies in there, so if you send us some money, maybe they'll like you. I legitimately got a YouTube video demonetized because there was a 50s girl in her 50s underwear. Maybe someone reported it or something. But I was like, that seems a little bit risque for the 50s. Demonetized. I could do that with my keyboard. Okay, there's definitely a disproportionate amount of advertisements in order to beef yourself up. But man, nothing wrong with improving yourself, right? I'm definitely noticing a lot of wonderful potential to start your own job, get your own career, sell your own bricks. Oh, more muscle. Make your own stuff, get money from treasures. It's like the 50s was a time when you could go out and do stuff. And these days, you can't go out and do anything because there's so damn many rules on everything. Because back in the day, people did all the things and some of them screwed up royally. And other people, oh man, and then you get the lawyers getting into it. And then just everything frickin' goes to hell once you get the lawyers into it. So w what I'm doing with these books is I'm checking out the older stuff. And then I'm going over and then I'm checking out the newer stuff to see how different things are and i definitely notice after a certain point of time it's less do it yourself and more join the army and they'll give you the tools that you need grow orchards at home and the ladies will love you for that i guess there was a time when uh geez it's interesting growing flowers at home this is like a man's thing because these days growing flowers at home is definitely an effeminate thing that is so fascinating that it's in here. It seems like sometime in the 50s or the 60s, actually, sewing became gay and a faggy thing to do. And men didn't do it. Only women did it. When did we lose that? When did men lose the ability to sew without having a problem? So, I got a real good buddy. He is a pastor's son. And uh, he is good at sewing, meat cutting. That'd be a good skill to have, too. Like, he's really good at sewing, and he can sew anything. And someone gave him a problem at work. Whoa! I want one! I want one. A few of the really rare German submachine guns. I want one! Oh, I want to fire one so bad. But I don't want any of my neighbors to have one. Ah, jeez, I'm so torn between gun laws. Oh, I want to fire full auto, but I don't want anyone else to be able to. <laughs> Some libertarian I am, eh? <laughs> okay, in Moose Creek, Alaska, Diane's riding in style back there. There's a little baby back there. That looks very uh, native. Inuit is, is that the word? But... Uh, I like it. I love that it's in popular mechanics. A lovely way to carry your kid around. And I'm not sure if we Westerners started carrying around our kids on our backs or our fronts until just like this generation. Oh, I like that ephemera. Very nice. Reach, partner. Mm, what are they selling? What are they, used cars? I don't know, but I like the ephemera. Ah, oh, check this one out, guys. Everyone with their smart technology. Built-in brain, Aldo thermoreactor. Does it have a okay? Does it have a brain, or does it just react to to heat? 
thermal reactor is the only spark plug that automatically adjusts its spark to any and every driving speed or condition. Really? I mean, don't they all? You're either going faster or slower, right? Still, that's kind of fascinating. Okay, I'm going to have to look this up and see if there, what the difference is between this and a regular one. Over here they seem to be advertising a piston ring, but I am legitimately not even sure what the frick that is. I used to manufacture clutch pistons. I was a machinist for that. So, is this for an automatic engine? Oh, right, this is some beautiful atomic age stuff. Atomic revolution at the strip yards. They're just talking about making entire fleets of atomic uh, vehicles. Oh, I love these pictures. I don't think we ever made that atomic sub. Here's the theory. We got a miniature nuclear reactor inside the unit at all times. Jeez. Could you imagine if we had those in every boat and a few of them go down? I wonder how many of them would have to go down to, like, devastate one of the oceans. Eight? Am I allowed to make jokes about your mom's vibrator? Operations in the infrared rain? Oh. Oh. Okay, new efforts in the infrared range, but what's more exciting to me, this electronic machine memorizes, that doesn't look electronic at all, that look definitely looks very mechanical, magnetic strip attached to the back of the ledger card, whoa, whoa, those are magnetic strips, jeez, she's going through, she's going through, okay, my heart just stopped, guys, my heart just stopped. Magnetic strip attached to the back of the ledger strips. Memory device of a new electronic accounting machine designed for commercial bank. My goodness. My goodness. Jesus, the hell that we stepped away from. <clears throat> Loving the goggles, sir. Well, that's absolutely terrifying. Automatically plants landmines under turf. I'm just going to tell myself that those landmines only explode for giant tanks and not for children or women. Jeez, I had one of those. G.I. Joe 1988. I wonder if they actually made that in the military. I would not want to be that. Okay, I would want to be that operator. Could you imagine launching those things while sitting there? Jeez, Charlie Brown. What's new for your home in the 1950s? Number one, the ceiling heater. Are you cold? We'll have a ceiling heater. Ice cube ejector. I like the sound of that. It makes it so, sound more awesome. Oh boy, look at that cutting board bowl. I'm sure that'll stick around forever. Actually, they use that in Subway still. Fold away ironing for the woman. A three burner range over top of the refrigerator. <laughs> what could go wrong? A doorknob cushion so you don't break your door, and a mattress extender. Okay. I mean, you could put your cool toys in there. Everyone says things were so much better in the 50s, and everyone was nicer, but then why were there burglar alarms? Oh, that is cool. Ultrasonic waves that can sense. I should have known. I should have known. And over here, you have all the ladies at the operation station. I didn't know that ADT... ADT, we're home even when you're not. I wonder if they're still around. The one half family car. Everybody do the Urkel. I would totally drive one of these if I could and if they were affordable. Mm-hmm. Just all the patterns you could get for all the fun stuff. This is, this, this is, this is peak I just love this stuff. Oh, wow. That is interesting. Creating a drying oven out of a gas can and a 100 light bulb. I wonder if that means you could use this for, um... You could speed ride your Warhammer boys in here. Make your own Google Cardboard. Stereo viewer. Cardboard viewer. But what would you be viewing? Back in the day when you wanted to take selfies but needed your own dark room for it. Kids will never know. That makes perfect freaking sense, but I would have never thought. How do you control the thing? How do you make it go forward? Is it hand cranks? I would have never thought. Oh my goodness. I just I just came in my pants. You, got, you can build it yourself. They show you how. 
Oh, jeez. Awesome. Oh, boy. We loved our patriarchy back in the 50s. I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to my girlfriend just to piss her off. She's one of those. So I'm seeing stuff like th this, and I'm thinking, and I'm wondering, what's changed? I mean, these days, men see stuff like that, and they say it's just like making love to a fat chick. It's fun to you till your friends find out. But it seems like back in the 50s, driving miniature things was never a problem. In the 50s, if your truck was big, it's because you were doing a lot of hauling with it. And back in that time, the average truck was the same size as your Ford Ranger is these days. It occurs to me that the hardest working person I know in town drives a red Ford Ranger around and he never legitimately needed anything else. And some of the big trucks that my ex-wife's brothers have out on the farm sometimes, they, they seem more like space stations than they do trucks. I mean, if I wanted to change gears, there was a, a little knob on the dashboard, a circular knob, and not a stick. It felt like I was, it felt like I was driving a space station. Back in the day when having a nice toolbox was something you could send away for, especially one as nice as that. These days we have all kinds of them, kids really don't even appreciate it. I can find something kind of like this and bit banged up on the side of the road for free. What's happened? And of course, if there's any old folks still with me, Dad, check this out. Check this out. Encyclopedia Britannica. Back in the day, for all you kids that you're watching, we didn't have the internet. We had popular mechanics. We had magazines that maybe our folks threw out. And then we had the encyclopedia for all the information. And then if we wanted to know if Grampy didn't know, then we had to go to the library. Oh, oh, here we got a linesman smoking his camel cigarettes. Yeah, real men. Geez, back then they didn't even have to advertise uh, sexuality from women. They could just advertise men being men. Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech. That's Popular Mechanics. Guys, if you have any memories, please leave a comment. I love it when people leave some of their old memories about some of this stuff. It's good stuff. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other, will you? Thanks.